Hey guys, how's it going? It's Shay the Coach, just checking in here, doing the nutrition video, as promised, on how I fueled for the triathlon. Next week, we'll have the video on movement with the pictures, as promised too, okay? So today, we're going to talk about metabolism, okay? Before we get into that, I want to introduce you to the banana, the egg, and the shaker cup. Okay, so this wonderful thing that we call metabolism, right? It's basically chemical processes that occur within a living organism to help maintain life. So in layman's terms, it just is chemical processes that happen within the human body to help us stay alive. I like that, especially when I'm doing a triathlon, right? Okay, so now what happens is when we eat food, we don't just open mouth, insert into gul uh, gullet, and then all of a sudden it turns into fuel and energy for the body, right? No, there's a series of things, of chemical reactions, that need to happen in order for the body to use food as fuel, right? So of course there's, you know, cooking it, chewing it, and all that other things. But what I'm talking about is this thing called metabolic pathways, okay? So if you look at metabolic pathways, the definition of that is a series of chemical reactions that either break down or build up compounds in the body, right? And so we're talking about food and using it, utilizing it as fuel. So we're breaking food down, okay? And so the metabolic pathways, there's, there's a number of them, okay? And so as you know, I'm working on some advanced credentialing, and a lot of what I'm learning is about carbs and sugar. And when you're an endurance athlete, the benefits of the banana on fuel, okay? And so, as you notice from last week, here's a pop quiz. Is eating a banana shea friendly? If you answered no, you've been following me, that's great, it's not shea friendly, okay? But I wanna touch on it because this is really beneficial because what a banana does is it provides sugar and it goes down a metabolic pathway called glycolysis and what that does is a series of chemical reactions that breaks glucose down into this thing called pyruvate and then the body can use that as energy okay and there's more I'm simplifying it okay so but here's the thing what I have needed to do due to like extreme sensitivity to sugar. This would be taste bud friendly. It would not be Shea metabolic pathway friendly. So we're going to put the banana away. And, oh, we have a surprise guest. He's in the fridge. Let's go get him. Man. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so. So in comes, let me close the fridge all the way. We karate did. In comes this. What is this? I was so prepared. Okay, I have a knife. This is bacon grease. Okay, we're gonna put a little caveat, a little disclaimer. This is not a green light that says, Shay the coach is encouraging bacon grease as a pre-workout because I've done this medically managed and over time. I'll say it again, medically managed and over time. What I did was is I trained my body to go down a metabolic pathway, which is a series of chemical reactions, right? That happen within the body to break down in this case, grease, bacon grease and fat in a metabolic pathway called ketosis, okay? So basically, ketosis uses what are called ketone bodies as energy. So glycolysis uses glucose, right, glyc, glucose. Ketosis uses ketones. Now if there's interest, 
please write in and I can break down a little bit more about what a ketone body is and how that comes about. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna discuss bacon grease and ketosis, right? And so, hmm, basically, <laughs> When I, what I did to fuel for this is, is I, I put water, I put bacon grease, and then I put cinnamon and turmeric in my shaker cup, okay? So um, it's an acquired taste. And basically because I'm in ketosis, that bacon grease, my body will go through that metabolic pathway and break the bacon grease down into things called ketones, right? Like I said, that's if you're, there's interest for that, I can do do that in more detail later, right? Or if you can just contact me as usual, y'all know how to reach me, okay? And so I, I hesitate, right? Because like I said, not a green light for you know, oh yeah, let's just drink bacon grease, water, turmeric, and cinnamon. No, it's it's medically managed and over time. And so we put it in water and I shook it up and the water isn't iced clearly because we want this to be not solid at room temperature, okay? And so, so we, we drank it and then of course I looked at, okay, 30 minutes, uh, I'm sorry, 10 minutes in the pool, 30 minutes on the treadmill and uh, 20 minutes on, I'm sorry, 10 minutes in the pool, 30 minutes on the bike and 10 minutes on the treadmill. Okay, so I also looked at calories and how much I needed so I wouldn't keel over, right, because I'm not <sighs> chewing food. So we took care of that. And so that's what I did for my, my pre-workout. Pre, uh, and then post-workout is the egg. So we cooked it and added more bacon grease and on and on and on. So just to recap, we covered metabolism, chemical processes that happen to maintain life. Metabolic pathways, chemical, a series of chemical reactions that either break down or build food up. Glycolysis and the importance of research that show bananas, glucose, carbs are a very legitimate fuel for endurance athletes and sports. <sighs> Unfortunately, bananas are taste bud friendly, but not necessarily shade friendly. So instead, we did bacon grease, which down, well, went down the metabolic pathway of ketosis because my body is trained to break that grease down and utilize ketone bodies from the bacon grease as energy, medically managed over time. Post-workout, eggs, high fat, low carb, low sugar, and more bacon grease. I've said enough. I'm just letting y'all digest that. And uh, we'll see you next week for the movement piece.